Okay, hello. Today I'm going to talk about um, my OAS heater. Now, if you've been watching a few of my previous uh, videos, you'll know that I had a crack forming in my heater and I actually bought um, a replacement um, just in case it broke. Uh, so the month was up. Uh, started disassembling my uh, filter and this is what I found the heater has totally broken it's broken at the end there um, luckily I, I also use a backup heater um, so my, my tank wasn't affected but Clearly, it's uh, cracked under the heat. Um, the element has started rusting, and um, this, you know, would have gone into the tank. Um, the um, rust has spread all over um, so the, the the surfaces of of the uh, canister filter. So I'm going to have to try and scrub that off. Um, then I had a look in the bottom. Uh, I found this so I think I can clearly say um, the heaters no longer working so this is the um, OAS replacement heater um, it's actually I'm pretty sure it's been less than a year uh, I've read the instructions and it seems to say that, that this bit actually screws out, so I'm going to try and unscrew it. I don't know. Right, it's said, uh, let me just check whether it's clockwise or anti clockwise. Right, it's said to unscrew the heater uh, clockwise um, or the holding screw clockwise. However, when I tried to do that, it was just too tight, it wouldn't come out. Um, when I actually started turning the heater, the heater itself would turn and, and basically started to come out. Um, so I'm gonna just gently pull this out the only thing that's worrying me is obviously I don't want the um, broken glass to cause any scratches to the um, rubber fitting okay so I've got the uh, heater out Uh, the broken heater and then this is the replacement It's exactly the same, um, say 300 um, watt heater. So I'm gonna push this one in gently. I'm just gonna take this just to clean inside here. Right, giving it a clean 
Um, it's really frustrating because I can see that the um, iron has basically got everywhere. So, I'm going to push the new heater in. I don't know how far it's supposed to go. But pushed it all the way down. And um, just hope that it's not going to leak. So that's done. Let me clean up this water because obviously plugs and water do not like to mix. Right, let's get this back together. So, first of all, I've got my nodules that I prepared. These have been preparing for about a month now. So they should be really rich in nitrate and nitrite eating bacteria. That's going to go in the bottom. Um, then I'm going to put in a sponge. In, that in there, it's good to go. Okay, uh, next I have my matrix. nodules next uh, well, two layers I've got this layer here underneath here there is carbon and then a sponge at the bottom so that's going to go next and then I've got this layer here which again as you've probably seen before is carbon right. and that's ready to fill up heater cracked because um, maybe when I started it it didn't have enough water for the Amen. so let's 
for now. I'm very hard not to get my plugs. Notice something. This uh, this this is the wrong way round. It should be facing this way. Sugar should be face. Oh. I'll have to leave it because, uh, but it should be facing this way. So this sits in there. I'll, I'll have to um, do that on the next one. So leave it where it is now. Okay, clamp down. This is what happens when your coral comes into contact with um, a sand bed. Basically, all the polyps die. Uh, during my
during my move of the aquascape uh, one of my corals dropped and I didn't realise, fell onto the sand and uh, basically the polyps are gone but I've had this coral for quite a while and I'm hoping that it's going to um, recover because it's recovered from uh, situations like this before My coral is doing okay. Uh, my sand bed has got lots of algae growing on it. Uh, this is because of the problem I had with my heater, which released lots of iron into the water. Um, which has uh, unfortunately promoted algae growth. Uh, now I've got that fixed, I'm hoping that um, I can get to grips with this growth, get it under control. My brain coral is doing fine. Torch coral is doing fine. One of my corals is stripping a little bit, but I'm hoping I can get that under control. My Turbinaria coral really likes its new position. Um, all the polyps are nicely extended, um, and um, it's partly why I've, I've built this uh, aquascape. It's not the prettiest of, of aquascapes to look at. But um, uh, I'm hoping that it will um, be a good environment for my corals to um, propagate and grow.